Hi, it's Miss Hagley. Good to see you. I hope you joined me earlier for the story. I read Corduroy um, in a video, and then I said we were going to do a craft that relates right to the story. So let's get started. Oh, here's my cat. Um, so Corduroy is the little bear that lived in the department store, and he had a missing button on his overalls. But his little friend came along and bought him and brought him home, Lisa. And um, I just want to do, can you see Tabby? Um, and I just want to do a little simple craft. And I'm going to let you know what we need to do the craft. And then um, we'll get started. So I'm going to stand up so you're not going to see me anymore. But you'll still be able to hear me and see what I'm doing with my hands, okay? So this is what we're going to make. Our own little corduroy bear. And he even has his missing button on his overalls. Okay. So what you need is um, two paper plates. And if you don't have um, paper plates, using paper, white paper or construction paper, brown and green if you have it. If not, white is fine because we're going to use markers or crayon. Um, totally fine. So whatever you have, but I'm going to use paper plates. And you'll need um, a brown and a green marker a crayon or even paint is fine. And then we're also gonna need a little bit of black construction paper, a little bit of green, some brown, and some white, okay? Um, and again, if you only have white paper, fine. You can color it in, okay, with the colors that we need. So to get started, I'm gonna take one of my paper plates and I'm just gonna divide it in half, right down the middle with my green marker or crayon, doesn't matter. See how I did that? And you're just gonna color it in. So just, I'm gonna do this real quick, um, just so the video's not super long for you to watch. But, um, so we're gonna just quickly color this in green. And these are gonna be his overalls. So this is the bottom half of him. Okay, and then with our brown, either marker or crayon, doesn't matter, I'm gonna use marker, we'll do the other half. Okay, so color that in. I hope everybody's doing good, staying busy. The weather's getting a little bit warmer, so on the sunny days, I hope everybody's getting out and either riding their bike or taking a nice nature walk. Definitely signs of spring out there. So there we go. So the top is brown, the bottom's green. All right. And then with our other paper plate or your piece of white paper, I'm just gonna um, color the middle part in brown. This is gonna be his face, okay? Because we're gonna cut this paper plate. So I'm just gonna quickly do this again, just to save some time on the video. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is cut out that circle. So again, if you just have white paper, just cut a circle. And this is gonna be his head. So I'm just gonna quickly do this. And there's his head, okay? So, so far you can kind of see how it's gonna look like, it, like a bear pretty soon. Um, so what we're gonna do I'm gonna use some tape just to speed up the process. If you have glue, totally fine. Um, if you have a glue stick, totally fine. Again, it's really whatever you have around the house. So there's his head. Actually, I didn't put that on quite straight enough, but here we go. Move it over a little bit. And then what we need to do Okay, that's a little bit better. What we need to do, and I'll show you the finished one, is make all of these, his paws, right? His ears and his face and the straps for his um, overalls. So since you have your scissors out, what we're gonna do is cut a little triangle down the bottom and it makes it look like um, he's got the two legs, okay? So we're just gonna cut a triangle out and I'll show you what I mean once I do mine. And if you need some help from mom and dad or maybe an older brother or sister to do this, that's totally fine. See how I cut a little triangle out right here? So that makes it look like he's got um, two legs, all right? 
So I'm gonna put that down for a minute and push it over to the side because we're gonna cut out all the parts that we need to make them look like a teddy bear. So first his ears, so take a small piece of brown construction paper. And again, if you only have white, totally fine. Just use your brown marker or crayon to color it in the color you need. So what I did to make his ears, I just took a cup that I had um, and traced the circles. See how I did that? So I'm gonna cut those out real quick. Um, and again, just kind of, um, if you have to do it freehand, you do it freehand. Just do circles. And again, if you need help from mom and dad or an older brother or sister to get the shape, totally fine. So I have my two circles. Those are gonna be his ears. And then we need a nose. So he needs a round nose. And what I did, I just had a little cup. And I, again, just went around, traced it. And we're gonna cut that out. And that's gonna be his nose. That's gonna be on white paper. Okay. So there's his nose. And now his eyes. Again, I took the same cup, but I just did the, the smaller circle down the bottom and traced. And we're just gonna cut those out and those are gonna be his eyes. And again, just white paper. I hope everybody just has a supply of, you know, paper maybe from right from the printer. If you have a computer printer, um, ask mom and dad if you can use some. So there are his two eyes, okay? And then we need his straps for his overall. So just a really small piece of green construction paper and I just cut two strips Again, if you have white paper, it's perfectly fine. Just color them in green. And now we need to make the paws. So his um, legs are a little bit wider than his arms, okay? So um, the legs, we're gonna cut wide, two wide um, pieces, and then two thinner pieces for his um, arms. So I just have a piece of brown, small brown paper. I'm gonna fold it in half. And we're just gonna cut. And again, if you only have white, just cut it and then color it in brown. Totally fine. So those are gonna be his legs. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but this time these are gonna be a little bit thinner, same shape, just a little bit thinner for his arms, okay? Because our legs are wider than our arms, all right? So there's his two arms. Then I have a teeny tiny piece of black. Again, I'm gonna fold it in half just so we get two circles at the same time. And these are gonna be his pupils. So just two tiny little circles and I'm just doing this freehand. Again, if you need help doing a circle, um, ask somebody that can help you. So these are just gonna be two black circles for his pupils, okay? And those are the parts that we need. So we're gonna start assembling our bear. So here's our, again, the body and the head, okay? And we'll lay it down. I'll show you as I do this. And again, you can use tape or you can use glue. Um, we're gonna use glue for his eyes. So I'm gonna take one of my smaller white circles and my black circle, and we're gonna glue that right on top. See how that's an eye, okay? So glue the black circle right on top of the white one. Running out of glue, I've been doing a lot of crafts. So there's one eye. We'll do the same thing with the other set. So a little bit of glue on the back of the black. Glue it right to the white circle. So now I have two eyes for corduroy. I'm gonna take the little bit um, larger white circle that we cut out, and that, that was gonna be his nose. So I'm gonna put some glue on the back of that. You don't need a lot, it's just a small piece of paper. And we're gonna put that on our brown circle. And I'll, I'll lift this up so you can see where I'm placing them. His two eyes and his nose. Okay. And then we can do his ears. And I'm gonna do a tape for this because it's just gonna be quick. 
So we're gonna tape one ear to the back. And you know, Bear's ears are kind of to the side. Uh, they're not like right at the top of his head. So kind of place them to the side and I'll show you what I mean. I kind of put them off to the side instead of right at the top. All right, it's starting to look like corduroy from the story. I hope so. Now we're gonna take the thinner paws that we um, cut out and those are gonna be taped or glued, whatever you have. If you have a glue stick, perfectly fine. And I'll show you how I did this. There are his arms. And now we'll do the same thing with the wider paws that we cut. I'm gonna tape those down the bottom. Those are his legs. Kind of again, off to the side. And I'll show you, remember that triangle that we cut out of the paper plate? I'll show you why. This will make, so it looks like he has, this is like the pair of his pants, okay? So this is one leg and this is the other of his uh, overalls, okay? So he's starting to look cute. All right, now we're gonna take the two thin strips of green that we cut, and those are his um, overall straps. So we'll put some glue on the back. I'm gonna use glue for this. And I'll show you, once I do it, where I put them. You can probably figure it out. If you, if you um, watch the video of me reading the story, um, and his straps of his overalls. So there are his straps, all right? And really, what happened in the story? He realized he lost a button on his overalls. So I have a little jar of buttons. I always keep buttons. Some of them are my grandmother's, so some of these buttons are really old. So I'm gonna look for a button that maybe I'd like to use. And you know what, if you don't have buttons, cut out a circle out of paper and just color it the color you want. I found a brown button that I like. You see that brown button? So I'm gonna glue that on. It doesn't have to be any particular color, whatever color you want. And it's just one, because remember he lost one of his buttons. He didn't know he had lost a button until the little girl's mom told her. And then with the black marker, you're gonna just make a line I just drew a line on the other one because that makes it look like he lost the other button. So all we have left is to draw his face, okay? His nose and his mouth. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a heart and you can do a circle if you want. You don't have to do a heart. And I'll show you this. So I drew a little heart and then a straight line and then I made him with a smile. And if you wanna make some detail on them, this is what I did real quick and I'll show you, just to give him some detail on his body. I put two little um, upside down U's, they look like, almost like or a rainbow, right? An arch of a rainbow for his ears. And then I just put these little dashes on both um, sides of his paws, okay? just to make it look like he has toenails. So there's our corduroy. So I hope you had fun. I hope you liked that. And that just kind of goes along with the story. So now you have your own little corduroy bear. All right? So I hope you're doing good. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And um, hopefully we'll see you soon. All right? Have a great day. Bye.